if y'all want to sponsor us, uh, we will definitely have your drink yeah, on man. our show. You know, that's simple, real easy. Hey, you say like open to anything, but anyway. Well, not anything. <laughs> let's, let's get it straight. Not anything. Hey, you got that sponsorship right. money. Right. Almost anything, you know. It, 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 it depends. So y'all want to start? Hey, y'all want to Starship sponsor? That's what y'all want. Y'all want Starship as a sponsor? Uh, hey, they, hey, they got the money. Let's do it. Oh, so you gonna be you gonna be promoting their toys? You want, then we gonna put their toys on your desk. How about that? We put all the toys hey, over there, uh, Mike. I'm gonna tell you what. Hey, if Magic City wants sponsor us, hey, hey, be down for that. Right? <laughs> Hey, come uh, on now, man, this city. Even though technically we're a competitor, we'll allow it. Our inaugural first year for our inaugural sneakers and sports podcast fantasy league. All mm -hmm. right. So, first of all, I'll let y'all know it, with the with the rosters, we're looking at a quarterback, two wide receivers, yes, two sir. running backs, a tight end. Mm -hmm. We got mm -hmm. two flex mm -hmm. spots, and a flex spot is wide receiver, running back, and a tight end. Yes, sir. We also have a kicker, and we have team defense. All mm -hmm. right. So we had a ten-team league. Of course, we had some of the homies from Sneakers and Sports in the league. We got some of our uh, best followers and some of our platinum fans in the league as yep. well. Mm -hmm. And of course, the sponsors. So this is gonna be a fun time. Um, can't wait to see what we got going. And of course, we got a couple of juice boxes on it to see who's gonna end up with that belt. You know, what yeah. I'm, saying? I'm, I'm, I'm predicting I might, I might be in the running. You think know? so? Oh mm -hmm. yeah. Even with, oh well, yeah. You got a decent draft grade, so we'll, yeah. well let's talk. Oh, no. Yeah, let's, let's talk, talk about. It. Let's, let's talk, talk about. Those draft grades don't mean nothing. Because I, I think the draft <laughs> grades go by like you know actual grades that you get in school. So I think it's better so, than decent. So should we uh, bring? to the, as Charlemagne would say, to the uh, front of the congregation, the people that didn't really get a passing grade. So we want to go from okay. worst to first. Okay. We go to, from worst yeah, to first. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, 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 get the, let's get the ugly out of the way. I mean, what name is at the bottom? All right. The name at the bottom is a whole lot of games. Shout oh. out to Reggie. Oh, that's just terrible. Reggie, wow. he texts me and says, rule of thumb, don't drink and draft. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like Jamie. He's blaming on the, a, 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 the alcohol. I guess that's what he's blaming it on. So it is what it is. So look, hey, his first pick was Saquon. It's a strong pick. That was okay, a great okay. pick. That was okay. a good start. Um, Pat Mahomes. As good his pick. second pick. Good pick. Good pick. It's a little high for quarterbacks, but you know. Dogs, Patrick Mahomes. But you know what? About? Actually, I'm wrong. It's a walking stack picked, machine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm wrong. He actually picked uh, Brandon Ayuk. Oh, that's yeah. That's a little early. I don't like that. Okay. And I like Brandon Ayuk. I've yeah, actually had him in two different Brandon drafts Ayuk. over the past two years. He got busy. Um, then he picked Pat Mahomes. I love okay. that pick. I love that pick. Um, and here's some other hit of his pick. Pat Fryermuth, Nick Chubb. Yeah, the Pat Fryermuth was a whoa. Well, that was a, that's a that's a head scratcher, bro. Keon Coleman, which is a promising rookie. Okay, well, and, you know. I gotta be honest. Here's the biggest head scratcher I see on the whole draft is where he selected Nick Chubb. Looks like Nick Chubb was what his fifth pick. Yeah, Nick Chubb. And Nick Chubb is on he the was, No, he was round five. He picked him in round five. Round five. But he's on the yeah. buck list, and Nick Chubb won't be playing until, what, like week six or five, something like that? Mm, yeah, I don't know. And then he, he, he major, knee yeah, injury. major injury. Major knee injury. Yeah, I don't and, like and that. And so round one, Saquon. Round two, he did pick Patrick Mahomes. Round three, Brandon Ayu. Round four, Pat Fryer move. Round five, like that. Nick Chubb. Round six, Keon Coleman. Round seven, Dalton Schultz. Uh, round eight, Dallas defense. Round nine, Xavier Worthy. Round 10, Brandon Aubrey, who's a kicker. Round 11, Jared Goff. Round 12, David Njoku, who you wanted. Yeah, that was a great pick, man. I love yeah. Njoku. He's actually, Njoku should be his starting tight end, to be honest. Yeah. Zach Moss, Adam Thielen. 
Trey Benson? Well, it's his last pick, but you know. Trey here's Benson. the thing, man. There's a couple really questionable things on here. Zach Moss, we don't know who's going to be the actual starter running back in Cincinnati. Uh, Adam Thielen, he's completely washed at this point. But he got a mean shoot game. Shout out to Adam Thielen on the shoot game. Yeah. Because uh, he messed with Mach Heavy. And if y'all don't know, Mach is the ultimate customization dude in the game. Mm -hmm. He does all the best custom. Shout out to Mach. Uh, he actually hooked me and DPC up with a pair of custom one on one Pumas. Pumas okay. Sweaty Clydes. I have never worn those shoes. I think we got them in like 2015. Okay. On one side of the city of Atlanta, on the other side, the initials, he did it for me and DPC. Okay. Uh, we did an event with Puma, but yeah, man. Okay. But yeah, I don't I don't understand the Thielen pick. And then, um, why do you have three tight ends on your roster, bro? I don't I don't know what you're doing. Here. Thank you. Reggie? Reggie, we need you to come to the yeah, front of the we, yeah. <laughs> You got some, uh, you got some explaining to do. You got some explaining to do. All right. I mean, I would hate to be last. You know? So let's, so, <laughs> let, let, let's actually go to the team that's tied for last. No, yeah, let's, no. let's keep the party right. moving. Let's, let's, let's move on to the next team. team. Let's move on to the next team. Second that, and, and hold on. Let's give out the official grade. It was an F. Yes. <laughs> so whole lot of game got an F. At least it wasn't Woo. F minus though. I don't even think they give out F minus in this place. <laughs> you know, yeah, F is F. <laughs> so let's talk about the other F. Well, let's, 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 let's give him a little bit of love. Let's give Mike Expert a little bit <laughs> of love for the picks that we did. Like, I do like Lamar, but my, my issue with Lamar wait, wait. is. So, first of all, Mike's Primo team. Mm -hmm. That's the name of. Yes. That's Mike the expert. Mike the expert. Mike the expert. This yeah. guy right here. So, so why don't you kind of tell us what you were doing when you put this team together? What was your theme? What were you going for? See, I didn't want to go for the obvious pick. <laughs> 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 okay. I didn't you want to go obvious. obvious. Okay, we got you on that one. You know, I wanted to go for those others. Okay. You know, so want, you wanted others. You wanted yeah. a team full of others. I wanted the, <laughs> I wanted those others. They're just going to come out. You're not going to think that they're going to put those stats up, uh -huh. but they're going to actually put them up. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm wow. going for a balance, mm -hmm. not okay. just these high-ranking names, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. So that's what I did. So give us maybe your top three guys that you really proud of that you picked that you thought you, you got to win. Okay, okay, okay. Lamar Jackson. I yeah, like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Marvin Harrison Jr. Well, let's let's talk about Lamar real quick. I uh -huh. think my thing with Lamar is, and I've had him in the past, is injuries. Injuries. Yeah. As well as they don't really throw the ball. That's yeah, yeah, they yeah. Run. issue, bro. Yeah, they so run, run. rushing quarterbacks are it in mm -hmm. fantasy, and Lamar is it in he fantasy. Is. Is. That's where he gets his, his points money from. He gets his money rushing. Mm -hmm. um, and his touchdowns. He's a big touchdown machine as he well. Is, he is. So, you know, it, it's not a bad pick. The problem is you got him in the round, in the first round. You got him ninth pick. I mean, if you look at it, I hate to say this, but Mike, you could have probably picked up Lamar in round two if you really wanted Lamar. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because your second pick was Marvin Harrison Jr. That was a great pick, bro. I got to your props. Marvin Harris is good, but man, round, like pick nine, like you missed out on like probably Saquon. You that, know? Was I, that was the pick before. That was the pick before? You. Okay. That was the pick before I got to. Um, B. John Robinson, you missed out on. B. John Robinson, like some of these big time running backs that. It is what it is. Don't put you got, you, you gonna put all your money on Lamar. Mr. Oh, yeah. Henry? I think B. John might, you know, have, you know, a few injuries and stuff, you okay. know, coming into the <laughs> Hey, hey, it is what it is. I think that Mike the expert is drunk over there. I think that that's not water. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be upset. It is what it is. I'm not going to be upset. No, I don't wish injuries on anybody. All right, so let's talk about round three. Mm -hmm. Trey McBride. Why did you do that, bro? I don't, what are you doing, bro? Trey McBride? Yeah. What, I, what think that was, I think that was a solid pick. Oh, okay. You no, know, Trey okay. McBride. You know, yeah. Josh Jacobs. I can see that. I like that. Yeah, one. Josh I like that one. That's Malik Neighbors. Malik, Malik Neighbors was you got in your bag. I'm telling I'm you, you round five, Malik Neighbors. Uh, yeah. The only problem with Malik Neighbors is his quarterback. Right. He gets injured and he likes to throw picks. Right. So we'll see. We'll see. Kenneth Walker, round six. Now Kenneth Walker in that round is pretty decent. Mm-hmm. Um problem with Kenneth Walker, boy, he's injury prone. 
Every year he's injury. So I, got I don't even remember last time I seen the man finish a season. Mm-hmm. You know, so I got a lot of injury prone people on my team. Oh, yeah, Lamar, yeah. Oh, Kenneth, yeah. get up. And he is injury prone. He's good when he's healthy, mm-hmm. but he's almost never healthy. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> well, this is going to be that season. You know, he's going to break out. All right. right. Round seven, mm-hmm. you went in. Hey, you took Cleveland defense. Like, man. Yeah, you came you know, in hot. I think, I think Cleveland <laughs> Dog defense. Bound defense. Yeah, huh? Cleveland defense. I think is projected to be the best defense coming up this next season. So I wanted to make sure I secured. Now I got to give you props. It will be one of the best defenses in the AFC. And the AFC North is a brutal league. I think the AFC North might be the toughest conference in all of NFL football. You think so? Because you got the Browns who are going to be competitive. You got the Ravens who are very good. You got the Steelers who always have a winning record and find a way to compete every year. And you have the uh, Bengals. Yeah. yeah Almost probably the best. Anyone, three of those teams can make it to the playoffs. Bro. You're right. Mm-hmm. Okay. I give you that. So, yeah. Now, what you did is you backed up your quarterback with Man, Dak Prescott. I wanted that pick, yes. bro. I got to So you got him in round eight. That's not a bad. Here we go. Bad Can't pick. go wrong with that. But for some reason, <laughs> Back to back with them bugs. <laughs> so now he we went know back it. to back with Big D Hawks. <laughs> now that we know that Mike the expert is a closet Dallas Cowboys fan. <laughs> yeah, man, what's up with them Cowboys? He Jerry Jones 2.0. Cowboys. He went and got Jake Ferguson. Jake Ferguson. Yeah. yeah as his backup tight end. Mm-hmm. All right. Now I like the Justin Tucker. Pick. Justin Tucker, best kicker in the game. He's he is. He's gonna give you 10 points he every game. Yeah. He's the best kicker. I He's a really good kicker. Justin Tucker, you know. Now, round 11, Tajay Spears. Yeah, I don't know about yeah. that. Yeah, I don't know about that. Right? Yeah, I almost fell asleep. On Who that. is Brian Thomas Jr.? <laughs> <laughs> Round 12. You got to give people Ooh. a chance, you know? <laughs> you got to give people a chance. It's, a, it's those. You know what? Those if Brian that... Thomas Jr. comes out here killing it, this uh, man, uh, what I think I'm talking about. You got to give talk people a talk. chance. Talk yeah. your talk. All right. I like Austin, Austin Eckler. I like Austin Eckler. For that low, yes. I like the mm-hmm. value for Austin Eckler. DeAndre Hopkins. I like the value with DeAndre yes. Hopkins. In that you go. round, yes. But, dog, you got three tight ends and three quarterbacks. This man got You know only one of them can play at a time. Right? Yeah, I know. But you know, Lamar Jackson gets injured a lot. Okay. So I look at it like this. I needed a backup to my back. Bro. You know, so. Baker Mayfield Baker would have Mayfield still been on the waiver, bro. <laughs> you, you didn't have to. Drag. Shake and bake? Uh, Huh? Yeah, you went for shake and bake. Yeah, yeah. Baker Mayfield, man. Baker Mayfield, you know. You know he like to throw interceptions, right? Well, you know, that's why I said this is gonna be one of those breakouts. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, y'all in the comments, y'all help Mike out. Oh, boy. He 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 needs Mike to get on the waiver. Struggling. Mike the expert. <laughs> like, but, uh, you know, he, he needs to get on the waiver. He needs to get his waiver. Oh, anyway. yeah, but that's that's why I make my moves on the waiver, you know. So, okay. You know, so. All right, we're going to yeah, okay. find out then. Mm-hmm. All right, we got next right. in eighth place. So, Sean's splendid team. Okay, he got a D plus. plus. Um, he did do the autograph, so, you know, but, you know, Sean's well, got to do some autograph. Let's just kind of give some highlights, some highlights. Some highlights, yeah. So, I would think that Jonathan um, Taylor, that's great a, first pick. That's a good pick, but again, injury concern. But I love that he backed it up with King Henry. I love that. That's King Henry. Yeah, but wait a minute. Jonathan Taylor was only injured uh, last year, and that's also because he held out as well. The year before, he was the best running back in the league. True, true. Okay, so put some respect on Jonathan Taylor's name. I also like the Devontae Adams and Cooper Cup picks. Those are both No, nah, Yeah, he went wide receiver, wide receiver. I like that Devontae and Cooper. Um, you know Cooper's going to get them catches. This well, man goes in. Is he, though? Because Puka's out there, too, now. Uh, Puka, yeah, Puka but, too, I though. mean, you know, I, I just do think, you know, Cooper and uh, Matt Stafford, they have that chemistry that, I mean, look, I'm not – I'm not expecting like 40, 50 yard bombs. We're talking about this is going to be like Five, 10 yard slants. Yeah. Bam, catch. Eight, first down. Eight yards here, seven yeah, yards there. Yeah, that's what that's what Cooper Cup is about. He's got hands, you know, amazing hands. Question is, you know, he is getting up there now. He is. And yeah. he come back from injury too. Yeah, he is. I really think that this team actually should have been the team that got the F. That this team should have been the team that got the F. I don't know what Yahoo rankings was thinking, but this team 
I'm sorry to say it, you know, thank you for doing this, but this team looks garbage. Really? You know? really? Oh, yes. You don't like yeah. DJ Moore? No, no, this team, I think it, it's the overall team. And I think it's this team, construction. yeah, I think this team is going to probably be the one at the bottom. Just tell you I so. don't know, man. Yeah. DJ Moore is questionable because they got a lot of miles of feet over in the Bears. Mm-hmm. And then Anthony Richardson's a big question because he couldn't even finish the season. Anthony Richardson is a question. Yeah. Aaron Jones, a and question. No. Evan Ingram's decent. Well, San Francisco why, defense, very good. Here's why Aaron Jones is a yeah, question. Yeah, that bro. is good, the defense. Because, okay, quarterback play for the Vikings, right? Offensive line for the Vikings. All that is a big question right now. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, but I mean, if they can't pass, what are they going to do? Run the ball. True. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Run the ball. Yeah, so. I don't know this team. I don't know. I think this is backhand Butker. picks. Yes. Yeah, Although I'm not picks. crazy about his political stances. Hey, he's a great kicker. <laughs> 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 just, just not with you outside, outside the field. I don't know what, I don't know what he was talking about. He yeah. was talking crazy. Okay, I, I don't know what he was talking about. Yeah. I did not sign up for that. Yeah, anyway, Sean, I like to say it's <laughs> waiver. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like the Devin Singletary pick at all. Yeah. Jordan, Jordan Addison. Addison. Questionable. Mm. Uh, Matt Stafford is not mm. bad backing up. And Luke Musgrave. Yeah, I don't even know who that is. Yeah, so, I mean, you yeah. know, again, he got a deep plus. All right, so shout out to Wrecking Crew, uh, which is uh, rough. What is for the draft? Yeah. He's on there live. What is, he got a C grade. Let's just kind of look at some of the highlights. I love CD Lamb. Great pick. I had to do last year. Son is a baller. Yeah, I wanted CD Lamb, but oh well. What do you think about Lamb. Now, here's the thing about CD Lamb. Is it going to affect him because he's been out of no. camp? No. You think he'll be all right? He'll be ready to play. Okay. Well, hey, he was great last year. He was great, dog. And he's got He paid, took me to the championship so. game. He took me to the championship game. Yeah. What y'all think great. about Caleb? Mm. He, I think it's a question mark. We don't really know. Question mark. Seen him in the yeah. NFL level. But how do you feel about that? Up. I don't know if I you mean, guys have watched preseason. I don't know if you guys watched uh, Hard Knocks, and you haven't haven't got to that yet. No, no. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> watch it this week, and we'll get back. Boy, on. Caleb Williams is so dry. Oh, oh for real? Boy. Boring. He's boring. I mean, and he seems like he doesn't get like he. It's just like he just get out there and be like, well. Eh. When's the last yeah. time we had a really good season of Hard Knocks, though? It's been a while. Yeah, he's dry. It, I have to say, I mean... I mean, honestly, if you could pick a team for Hard Knocks, who would you have wanted to see this season? I think your squad would have been interesting because y'all got so many questions no, with Spencer Rattler. No, I don't think our squad would. No. I mean, honestly, Same. your squad would have been yeah, because this was the, the Falcons. Falcons. It would have been a good mm. game for the yeah, Falcons. Yeah. And to see the dynamic between... Kirk Kirk Penix, Penix. And then the fact that you got Penix like breathing yeah. down his neck. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? And you got all these weapons. The Kyle Pitts being and then down. you made a lot of moves in regards to the defense. Like, I mean, yeah. You, you, know, yeah. you, you would have been. Well, you know who else would have might have been interesting though? If you kind of take a, a, a look back at it, the Cowboys with all the, the drama, who's going to get paid? And yeah. the 49ers too. Bro, oh, I, to, I have to be honest, but I'm so sick of the Cowboys. Like, I just wish people would like they are they are I'm not saying they're not good, but they're okay. Like I'm just I'm tired of talk I'm tired of people like focusing on the Cowboys. There's so many other teams in the league. And so like I would have been like Cowboys again. How many hard knocks does Cowboys get? Like yeah, I'm just being team, honest. Bro. Like I get it, but come on. Alright, Mike right, Expert, who would you want to see on hard knocks? What I want to see on hard knocks? Yeah. Oh man, that's Ravens? Oh, most definitely the Ravens. Yeah, the Ravens. Um, the Ravens would have been good. Yeah, the Ravens would have been good. Yeah. Yeah. Lamar. Yeah. You know? you know, I mean, that was my first pick anyway. Lamar, <laughs> so of course. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, probably the Ravens with Lamar. All right, so yeah, we let's, we talked about some of his highlights. Uh, he did go running back three picks in a row with Gibbs, ETN, and Kamara, which I think well, actually, four picks in a row. Dang. And Joe Mixon. You got one, two, three. Yeah, he kind of went crazy on running backs. Five back, running backs. Hey, Ruff is known for stacking running backs. I'm Wait, hold you on. Right six now. running backs. Hey, one, hey. two. I've yeah. been in enough leagues three, with four, Ruff. He's, he's known for stacking five, running backs. Hey, you know how he moves, huh? Yes. He loves to stack running backs. How do you like that late T. Higgins pickup? Eighth round. 
I mean, you know what? It's probably gonna pan out in the beginning because right now Jamar Chase has not gotten paid yet. Right. And he's not playing with the team. So right. I mean, that could hurt them. So I mean, you know, hey, Joe Burrow's gotta go to somebody. You I know do what like Keenan Allen pick though. What do you think about that? And you know Yeah, but you know, just like we said, the Bears got a lot of mouths to feed. Yeah, they do. Um Cole Komet, Keenan Allen, DJ Moore, they got running backs. I mean, mm. I don't know. Mike, what do you think of the Caleb Williams pick and the Taysom Hill pick? Well, the Caleb Williams, you know, that's, like you said, we don't know a whole lot about, we haven't really seen Caleb, you know, we haven't seen Caleb Williams. So right, yeah. We don't know Well, a we lot. saw him in, in, in the preseason. Yeah, you saw him he, in the preseason. So, he, I mean. He made some plays. Yeah. So, yeah, but he's I mean, also playing a, against second string and third string. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a risk, but, you know, I'm all about taking risks. So. He was starting, though. He was. It was the starters. Okay, we'll so, see. Starters. It was okay. the starters. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, watch, watch hard knocks. It was the okay. starters. Okay. Yeah. So it's a risk, but I'm all about taking risks. So I'm, you know, I, I think that was a pretty decent pick there. Okay. Caleb Wood. Yeah. He swung for the fence on Taysom. Okay. Because of the fact, what what's mm-hmm. good about Taysom is that he's not just listed as a quarterback on fantasy. He's, he's also listed receiver. as a tight end. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. you can put him in the flex spot, and all that. You know, goal line work that Taysom gets, you'll get points from that. But last okay. year, he didn't really do a lot of work, though. Yeah, we have a new offensive coordinator, so it really is just okay. we're going to see how he's going to use him. The Saints have a new off, new offensive coordinator. I think his name is Clint Kubiak. Hey, so we'll just see how they use Taysom. For some reason, Taysom's always involved in the offense in some type of way. I just don't know if it's going to be consistent enough. Okay. We haven't seen anything impressive since Sean Payton left, so we'll find out. No, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm just telling the truth, man. I'm not being, I thought we was being honest in this Let's game, move man. along to the next one. Bo right. Nix. I like that. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a stretch, bro. He, he, it's a flop. Okay, he is starting. Sean Payton got his got his man. He got he his did. quarterback. He did. That's what he wanted. So I guess we're about to see how this thing is about to work out. So either it's going to be a boom or bust. That's mm-hmm. what I think this is. All, All right. right. So let's move Bo on Nicks. to the next team. Okay. Mike, let's look at Calvin's crazy team. Mike, the expert. Mm-hmm. Who are some of the players that you like that he picked? And these are the C's, by the way. This is, a, yeah, this is a C minus. Oh, C minus. This is a C minus. Ruff got a C. Calvin got a C minus. Mm-hmm. Should the so, C minus be below a C? Yeah, it is. Okay. So you, you started with Ruff. You passed him up. But oh, it's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. So, I mean, you know, his quarterback choices were, well, I mean, he got, what, Aaron Rodgers on there. And, um, Ooh, coming back from Achilles, though. Yeah, he is coming back from Man, Achilles. He's but 40. Right. <laughs> but that doesn't mean anything. I, no, it doesn't. Well, I said, it doesn't. That knowledge is there. He, he not, I mean, he could know. look like Aaron Rodgers or he could look like Brett Favre with the Jazz mm-hmm. ball, we know. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it looks like he got three quarterbacks. So you got Jordan, Jordan Love. I like that. Yeah. And then Joe Burrow. That was a good value pick for his latest guy, Joe Burrow. Ooh, seven mm-hmm. round. Three quarterbacks, though. Yeah. That's a bit much. Three quarterbacks is a Man, man. You, you, you gave up a lot to get three quarterbacks. Yeah. Because it's like, if he would have eliminated Aaron Rodgers and just gotten Jordan Love and Joe Burrow, he would have been great. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, look he like reached for the Aaron Rodgers. What do you think about picking Jamar Chase first? I wanted to do that as a report check. It's a risk. It's a risk. But... Uh, Joe Burrow is healthy. Um, we all believe that. Well, I, I, I personally believe that Joe Burrow is elite. Okay, he is, he is an agree. elite quarterback. Um, so you know, hey, you you can't really, you know, hey, you know, Jamar Chase is is a number one, and you got a number one quarterback. So, well, he got two he number is. ones. He got a, a, a Mr. Amar uh, St. Brown. And I don't know if y'all if y'all saw the team. uh, Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all saw Netflix receivers, but it was it was a good. He he did a great job on there. I really enjoyed the show watching him. Yes, uh, yeah. Uh, And Amon Ross St. Brown did great last year. I had him last year, and he killed it. He put up a good. He got his money now, so now he's kind of Amon Ross is very similar to Cooper Cup. Yeah, the Cooper Cup of old. He gets those catches. He's yeah, yeah, absolutely. Chris Olave, hey, that I know was good you pick. like him because you're a Saints fan. I mean, okay. he, 
he's our best wide receiver. So um, he's super speedy. You know, he can take it to the house any moment. He's got great hands. So that was a good pick as well. But man, he went heavy on the wide receivers. Like yeah. Calvin, you went heavy on the wide receivers. So you went wide receiver Nico. back to back to back to back. And then he got what? Nico Collins. Yeah. Mike, what, what would you say is the biggest head scratcher pick that you see with Calvin? One of the biggest head scratchers would probably be maybe Hollywood Brown. Okay. You know, yeah. I mean, but he got yeah. Hollywood Brown really late. But he got so many wide receivers. Like, I yeah, mean, you know what I'm saying? Too many wide receivers. Oh, yeah, he didn't really need to go with Hollywood Brown. He could have went somewhere else. With yeah, that, his team so. is not balanced. It's very he's gonna be struggling head. on running back because, like, running back and tight end. <laughs> he's gonna be struggling. His his top running back is Amir White. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, yeah, I, I like, did that when I first started playing. Good luck with that. He went no RB. That that so, was his strategy. Okay. That's why I'm trying to figure out how they. How the rankings? Zero RB. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how the rankings really go. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, this is a C. The, I got an F. Here's here's the rankings. Oh. The, the rankings matter based on the projections for uh -huh. each week. Yeah. So they're gonna project you throughout the year, mm -hmm. and they're gonna say who's gonna have the most projected points. Got so you, got your you. team as an F uh -huh. was the lowest of probably nine, ten in yeah. regards to projections. Yeah, I, I think they they did that wrong. Cause, no. cause what <laughs> I'm seeing right <laughs> now, I don't know. He's like, I don't, I don't know. know. Okay, I can. We'll, hey, I'm gonna say ratings and draft grades means absolutely nothing. Right. I've got a yeah. D, and last year I got a D, and I got at least third place. So that mm. that means nothing. It also means the moves you make during the season, so you you know, how moves. you work the waiver wire. Mm. Okay, that that is very important because we're gonna have injuries. Oh, yeah. Injuries are gonna happen. They happen every year. The the thing is how you capitalize on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Moving on, we're gonna look at Jordan's mm -hmm. splendid team. Shout out to Boy Retro. Boy Retro. Jordan about to pull up on us with some new merch. So okay. Can't wait. Can't okay, wait. Okay, okay, okay. Stuff, so. All right. Different colors. We always brought different colors. Oh yeah. With the Jays okay, yeah. and. And the sneakers, you know how we do. Hey, if y'all need some new merch, y'all looking for something that's inspired by the, the, the greatest retro time, the 80s and 90s, yeah, pull up yeah. on boyretro.com. They got everything you need. Absolutely. And I love a new hat that they have that's based on the Braves, Atlanta Brave hat. And it's kind of, you know, inspired by Deion Sanders playing both for the Falcons and the Braves. Okay. Dope, dope, dope. Okay. And I like some of the players on this team, too. I but, love the B. John Robinson pick. Yeah. So his first pick, Jordan's Splendid Team's first pick, is B. John Robinson. Mm -hmm. Love it. It's a good pick. I don't um, have anything bad to say about that. Yeah. He definitely had the sixth pick of the first round. So, yeah, that was right in line with what he, sh you know, he could have gotten. And that right. was before my pick came, so <laughs> I said I got him. I wasn't <laughs> gotcha. behind. Thank you. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So he, he went RB, did. and then he went Garrett Wilson with his second pick. So I guess we're just gonna have to see how Air Rodgers pans out. So I mean, Gary Wilson is a star. The question is, what's Aaron Rodgers gonna look like? What, what's like Aaron Rodgers at this point? Yeah, mm. uh, Mike Evans. Hey, it is what it is. Every solid. year, Mike Evans is solid. I don't have anything bad to say, and no, he's I actually. Either. I mean, we're talking about ten straight, a thousand yard receiving season. Facts. Mm. Through every different quarterback, son is solid. Hey, hey. Mike Evans, pull up on the podcast. Yeah, yeah Mike down. Evans, hey, you a baller. I Please have to tell us the you. secret of how you do you it. The only person that really shuts you down is, you know, my corner. So, I mean, it's oh, okay. Man. Man. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. You know, I mean. Guys, you can tell, that, you can tell, that, you can tell that, that Don's been drinking today. <laughs> Hey, what's in that cup? You know, yeah, you what's know. in the cup? I mean, my my corner cup does right shut there. him down. He knows, and I ain't even got to say his name because Mike Evans oh, knows who I'm talking about. But it's, it's all good. But otherwise, when, so the last place team in the NFC team. South. Yeah. 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 I guess that's a story for nothing. <laughs> Y'all know we're going to have a state of the NFC South. Y'all pull up. It's going to be a dope experience. We got representation from the Panthers, from the Tampa Bay Bucks, from the Orleans Saints. And of course, we got representation from the Rise Up Atlanta Falcons. Hey. You know his name, Marcus Lattimore. You know his name. Okay. okay. <laughs> Move right along. Yeah. Mike Expert, what do you think about the CJ Stroud and Stephon Diggs pick? Marshawn Lattimore, Moonlight. Yeah. I mean, he did all right with that, CJ CJ Stroud and um, CJ Stroud, yeah. Mm -hmm. Stephon Diggs. Yeah, mm -hmm. Stephon Diggs. Yeah, I think those are pretty good picks. So do you think we're gonna see Buffalo Stephon Diggs in Houston? 
Uh, I think he's going to be better. First of all, Stefan Diggs is going to be inspired. Okay. I think okay. it's a, uh, a brand new place, fresh start, fresh, start, uh, fresh quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I think it's a different mm-hmm. system. Kind of like when he first um, got the football. You know, and first of all, uh, CJ Stroud is a, is a pass first he's quarterback. He's not, he's not, um, you know, oh, well, look at one, two progressions run. He's not like that. You he's going to go through all his progressions, and it's going to help Stephon Diggs because Stephon Diggs, he's just got to get that separation. Mike Dexper, I remember we said on two-player sports podcast last year that uh, C.J. Stroud was one of our favorites, and we thought that he soon could be in oh, yeah. the conversation as the best QB in the league. Mm-hmm. You know, do you still oh, yeah. see that? But yeah, I mean, he still, still can get there. You know, I think he can, most definitely. I think this is a solid, solid pick for him. Um too bad I couldn't have got him. You know, yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. He did get a little bit of value with Jalen Waddle, but I'm a little concerned because, again, now they're adding Odell Beckham Jr. in there as well. Um, plus, you know, can Tua stay healthy? That's more of the issue, I think, with, with the Dolphins. My issue is, too, he waited until round seven to get his second running back. Right. He got mm-hmm. Ramondre Stevenson, his second running back. And yeah, he waited, I, like I mean, he went before. super heavy again on wide receiver. And I mean, I, I'm good with your first two picks in wide receiver, but it's like after the CJ Stroud, you probably should have. Here's my thing with Sessions. I had him in the past, right? And he's one of those guys, he's going to give you maybe two good games, and that's it. Okay. I yeah. do like Kittle, though. Kittle was a great pickup. Kittle's a great pickup, a great especially pickup. so late. Yeah, I like that. Uh, Tua as a backup is not bad. But you added Trevor Lawrence. Too. Yeah, I don't get I don't that. Know what you're doing, man. So again. What's wrong with Trevor Lawrence? He has three quarterbacks. You got like three you. quarterbacks. You got <laughs> these is uh, guys. You should not be drafting three quarterbacks. Two at the most. Right. In a ten-team league, you don't draft three quarterbacks. Okay. Get your one, your number one quarterback. Maybe back him up at the very least, but do not get three because honestly. Tua could have been on the waiver. Trevor could have been on the waiver. I mean, it's not that you, you're, you pick your gap. You pick your gap you. is not that big. Like Trevor's not gonna come out here and, and ball out. Like he's gonna kind of be in the same range. So I do like the sneaky pick of Rashid <sighs> uh, Shahid. Yeah, son actually gets busy because he gets a lot of deep balls and, and he's super fast. He is. He's super um, fast. He bro. is. But man, he went so but heavy he's so on wide receiver. Though. Yeah, he went. Wide well, I mean, come first. on. Then he, the, his last and pick Tyler. was Tyler Lockett. He yeah. has one, two. Well, he only has two three, running backs. He only got two running backs. That's it. Four, five, six, six, six wide receivers out of a total of. 15 rounds. Well, here's the thing. What is he going to do when there's a bye week? Because you don't have another third running back to put in. Yeah, he doesn't. Now, he he can put these wide receivers in flex. But, I mean, you know, hey, that's... One of them's going to have to hit the waiver wire. Yeah, he got he, that this is, this is why he got a seat. Yeah, he did. That's, he got, seat. that's a good call. Ball. Baltimore defense yeah. is a good call. All right, let's go to see what Joffrey did. All right. Joffrey. Joffrey. Worst, worst team name in the league. Yeah, it is. It's <laughs> neat team. Joff, neat we need team. you to be way more creative than that. But a B minus, though. Good grade. Good grade. B minus. He came through with the B minus. So his first pick was, he had the first pick Brees of Hall. the draft. Brees Hall. Mike the expert, what do you think of that first pick? That's a pretty bold pick. What do you think? Yeah, I mean... Brees Hall is very talented and everything. Um, he I, is. I, I, I don't know if I would have did that with the first pick. You know, there, there's a lot that you could have. He lot. passed up Christian McCaffrey. Yeah, there's a Brees Hall. Yeah, yeah, that's what Christian. Oh, that's what I wanted. Right. Oh my goodness! But I mean, yo, he got a what a B minus on this. He did. Yeah. So, so maybe Joffrey knows something we don't. Yeah. You know, maybe he has a feeling. He, if you look at the team, he Brees put Hall's a, here. Yeah, he put it a complete team together. One. So, well, Puka, I mean, that was in bold number two. Number big. two. Mm-hmm. I mean, Puka did do great last year. I don't know if he's that high. I think he reached a little bit for Puka. One of the things but, I think that you said during the draft that both of y'all said, y'all both like Michael Pittman. 
Why don't you talk about that, that he got Michael Pittman in the fourth round? He did. Michael Pittman is a, uh, he's another one of those possession receivers, uh, very similar to um, like Cooper Cup. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. You know, he definitely gets the catches in a, in a PPR league, he's, he's great. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's gonna, he scores that much touchdowns, that many touchdowns, but uh, he's definitely good for the PPR. Yeah. Well, I see he doesn't care about kickers or defense, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Because he did not he, draft him. He didn't draft him. He didn't draft him. Here's, uh, here's the thing. Uh, what Joffrey's doing is he's not worried about that because he knows he can just pick up and switch kickers and the yeah, defense out. Yeah. So he's willing to risk it while trying to get people like a Jaden Daniels or a Raheem Mostert really late that he feels mm -hmm. like might get a bunch of touchdowns and might turn into something later. So, I mean, it's oh, yeah. not a, it's, it's better to not draft the defense and the kickers than to draft three and four, five and six wide receivers or three quarterbacks. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what's better. Uh, I think my biggest questions are Dalton Kincaid because we know that uh, Josh likes to throw the uh, Dawson Knox and then Rasheed Rice. Like, uh, I guess. Rasheed Rice. I mean, you got to think though. Uh, but you already had other value earlier. You could have got a better pick for that. Mm, I mean, he got him in the in seventh round. Okay. He got him in the seventh but round. To, to Mike's point, mean, though, you don't have defense or kicking. Yeah. That's going to cost you some wins. You can pick up defense and kick it. Because here's the thing that what you can do. You can play the matchups when it comes to a defense. That's true. Right? But at the mm -hmm. same time, it's not like he got Randy Moss and Jerry Rice on the team. No. <laughs> Barry Sanders and Emmitt Smith. No. No. No, he doesn't. But All he's right. got Devon Achan. Devon Achan could pick pick up, um, put up some big numbers. And then he backed him and handcuffed him with a Raheem Mostert. Okay. So, and it's a high flying offense in regards to the Miami Dolphins. I had them last year, they were great. So let's move on to the next team. Yep. You need a better picture, bro, cause this doesn't fit your name. I don't know what you was doing with this picture, but it's, yeah, it's not he, working. They just hating, you know what I'm saying? I just want- Why did you not, I mean, tell, tell the people what your name of your team is. Usher's neck. All right, so where did that come from? <laughs> if y'all saw my video, my frustration of, you know, the biggest bust of the summer was the fact that, you know, unfortunately, Usher hurt his neck. So he was starting his uh, past, present, and future tour here in Atlanta. Facts. And he hurt his neck and he had to cancel all the shows and he bumped them all the way till December, basically the end of our league. So I was like, you know, on a Tuesday, on a Tuesday in the cold, all because of what Usher's neck. Well, here's the thing: me and the Mike the expert were supposed to go on Wednesday, the first day, and we didn't lose it like you did. Too bad. <laughs> this man you bought went. sweet and just totally lost his just lost went cool. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Hence man. the team name, Usher's neck. All right, hey, Usher Raymond, pull up on us, and uh, you yeah. know maybe you, you can. I think like, he's a little busy traveling all over the, uh, the oh country, yeah, hey. uh, showing everybody else the tour before hey, we. Mike, Mike the expert. What's didn't that? we tell the fans to tag I Dom Jones with their photos of the current Usher tour? Oh, yeah, yeah tag, that? I saw. Him. Yeah, <laughs> tag I Dom Jones and at the culture one with all of your footage and pictures of the mm -hmm. Usher tour right now. Yeah, show them how great it is. Yeah, so, I'm sure it's a lovely tour. I like the first pick in Tyreek Hill. That's a good pick. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, Tyreek Hill. You can't go wrong with that. Can't go wrong with that. Cheetah. That was my second pick. I had the second pick. I Cheetah. like your pick in Williams. That's, that was a good, solid pick. Yep. I had him last year. He was great. Bro, I just feel like you just really went solid all across the board. Pacheco, we know they use him a lot in the end zone. Yeah, So Pacheco. he's going to get the touchdowns. DK, I mean, hopefully, you know, quarterback play stays well. Yeah. I mean, he stays mm -hmm. well, but you never know what Geno. Right. He can always go back to old Gino. True. And then the guy with a Q by his name, Sam Laporta. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's all good. Sam Laporta was a breakout star last year. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, hey, the NFC North leading uh, Detroit Lions. So, you know, Detroit does have a lot of mouths to feed, but, you know, Sam Laporta has been a breakout star in regards to the tight end, so I'm happy with that pick. So, Mike Expert, give out of Dom's team, who was your, like, biggest question mark? Like, why did you do that? Well, I mean, you could have got it. 
Ezekiel Elliott off waivers or anything. You know, I don't think anybody was gonna pick him up. So. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think anybody was gonna pick him up. I, I gotta give you the one I gotta give you where you got in your bag that was probably the most impressive was Brock Bowers. You got him real late in the draft. Uh-huh. 13th round. I oh, think yeah, Brock's gonna be a monster for those guys. They only got two guys to really throw to him and Devontae Adams. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that was a Why is almost pick. half your your guys questionable? <laughs> First of all, the whole team got cues by their name. A questionable just, in before I'm the season play. start is not the same as hey, questionable I'm during the play. Saying, you might you want so, guys that are healthy day one. Hey, exactly. I want them healthy uh, day I'll one. I'll take questionable. I want no questionable. Drafting three quarterbacks. So I mean, let's just. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, we didn't even talk play. about my quarterback, Kyler Murray. Shout out to the rushing yards. Mm-hmm. Hey, and I got him in the sixth round. I know they don't love it, but hey. Hey, That's he's healthy. Stroke, he's healthy. Can't he's got a brand new season. number one in Marvin Ooh. Harrison Jr. Hey, we'll, all right, we'll see. Can't I got be healthy the whole season. I got it. I will see. Hey, but who do I get as my backup though? Do y'all remember my backup? Uh, Justin see. Herbert. Hey. But he's uh, he's not healthy either. Yeah, yeah. he's questionable. Yeah. Already, he's my backup though. Bro, they're yeah. already looking for a quarterback to start week one because they don't think he can yeah. play week one. Mm. <laughs> He'll be all right. College I starter, Ooh, so we'll I got mean, backed him up. It's all good. Yeah, I, you should. Hey, you should want to tell them what grade I got, though, guys. You got an A. Thank you. Yeah, they. All right, so they messed that up. Let's let's <laughs> let's move on to who had a great draft. He just a hater. Cause he had a good draft. You a hater. Let's talk about who had a great draft. Yes, and who had probably one of the better names. If you really want to win, put Booby in. I'm ready to spend. Yes, Booby Miles is my team. I even got the Booby Miles card as my profile picture. And yes, I think I had a very, very good draft. Start out with C Mac. Christian McCaffrey's gonna be busy. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. You yeah, know he's man. questionable, but yeah, man. No, C Mac gonna be all right, man. That's shit. C Mac, you yeah. using him and he's gonna be in the running game, he's gonna be in the mm-hmm. passing game. Then I went with Josh Allen. I've had him in the past. He won me a championship. Josh Dang, man. Josh is dog. He's gonna get the running yards. He's basically a running back and a quarterback all in one. But but the second pick? No, man. Who I, had, I went high with Josh Allen. I had to get Josh, man. And then Drake London. Yes. Drake London is gonna be ball in the season. Oh, he's, he's gonna look like Justin yeah. Jefferson. You got a lot we'll of see. ATL people here. Debo right. Samuels. Debo Samuels does not play for ATL. Bro. No, he does. Amari Cooper. He gonna be out there this Debo. season. Hey, right. you, y'all already know he might Dude, as well I call got, his, his team the Dirty you Bird in the Dog Pound because that's all he he drafted. Dirty Birds I and Dog Pound. You got Drake. You got Kyle Pitts. Amari Cooper. And Kyle you got, Pitts. Mm, you got Kirk. Oh, I got Captain Kirk. I had to go with Captain uh-huh. Kirk. Kirk Cousins, Captain Kirk gonna give gonna get gonna get four thousand dollars. Jerome Ford, bro, no, you Kirk, gonna, it, no, I got I, two rounds in Jerome actually, Ford because no, I actually because, think Kirk is actually a good pickup. Yeah, tell him why. Uh, tell him why. No, no, I just he he gets numbers. He's consistent with his numbers. A lot of these other guys up and down. Kirk, he may not be this star star quarterback. that's like he's right. not gonna be like Patrick Mahomes, but he is consistent. So I gotta give I, I gotta give credit on that. Then I stole uh, Smith and Jigba in the tenth round. Y'all just let the guy sit. I'll take him. No problem. Stole Chris Godwin in the ninth round, and then I was very proud of myself in the thirteenth round. Steal in Cortland Southern. And then you talking about Jerome Ford. I got him in the fourteenth round, and he's a starting running back for the Browns right now. He is until Nick Chubb comes back. Dog, but Nick Chubb Chubb won't be back back. to the middle of the season. Well, the reason why you're probably gonna lose in this thing is because you basically draft the Atlanta Falcons team, and the Falcons (laughs) they lose a lot, you know. Bro, the Falcons are gonna win the NFC South. I don't know what you're talking about. We'll see. I'm just saying. Just saying. We know who won't win the NFC South. We'll see about that. The Carolina Panthers. The New Orleans. (laughs) The Carolina Panthers. And I know you love the defensive pick in Pittsburgh. Yeah. You can't say nothing bad about Mike Thomas' defense, bro. Yeah, they always. Joy Porter Jr. Cam Hayward. Shout out to you for getting a kicker Patrick in the Queen. last round, though. Good I job. did. I did. Yeah. Good job. Good strategy. And guess what? You know, you know, it was other kickers available, but my guy plays in a dome, so he'll be all right. He's going to make the majority of his kicks. He'll make all right. He'll be, and and he, he, plays, he plays a high-scoring offense. High-scoring offense. So right. that's, that's, that's what's big. All right. So, all right. And, oh, wait a minute. You didn't even want to give my score? Really? Duh. You no. already said wait, you got to What was my score? What was my score? 
It but wasn't F. a score. You mean a grade? It was my grade. A Thank F you. Minus. No, <laughs> an A plus. <laughs> an A plus. A passing great student. Oh, All right, right. So okay. let's get to the the winner of the draft. Is it? We both got the same. Grade. No. They gave the award of best draft to one team, and you did not get it, sir. All right, fine. So go on and announce who got the best draft. Hey, cups up. LOL Burger Bar and Wings. LOL Burger Bar. <laughs> best burgers and wings in all of Atlanta. So not only can they LOL. make the best burgers and wings and shakes in Atlanta, they also can draft a hell of a team. Man, Justin Jefferson. Jalen Hurts, Justin Jefferson. AJ Brown. Travis Kelsey, Jalen Hurts, Travis Kelsey, James Cook. I was next. I could have got Kelsey. Now, this is what uh, we're talking about. I mean, there's no misses in this draft at all. Yeah. Tank Dale, Christian Tank Kirk, Dale. There's Calvin Ridley, who Calvin somebody Ridley. I was looking at late. Rome McDoom. Rome yeah. Tony no, Pollard. No, no miss. Tony Pollard. Reed. Meet me to Tony Pollard. Jalen Reed, man. No Hell miss. Kansas Burger City Bar defense. Got a squad, yeah, they're going to be a problem. Yeah. Cole Komet. I think LL Burger Bar is only going to lose by a little bit. You know what I'm saying? No, not a notice lot. what they did, though. So. Notice what she did, the oh, owner of LOL Burger Bar. Oh, mm -hmm. She did not back up her quarterback. No, Ooh, that's risky. Mm. She did not. That's risky. She got Jalen Hurts. Give her, though. <laughs> 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 oh, Mike, why don't you go ahead and put a trade in now? Go on and put a trade in now, bro. <laughs> Go ahead and put the trade in now, bro. Want, you you got my quarterback, bro. Give me you Travis, know what? She, she stacked Travis her Kelsey. running back and her wide receivers. Stacked. Stacked. Uh -huh. Stacked. Big time. Stacked. And in the and, and got the kicker, got the defense. Cole Komet was her last pick. Well, we're going to uh, I mean, keep y'all updated as what happens throughout the season. So it's going to be an interesting season. Y'all going to know what's going on, good, bad, and ugly. We're going to keep you updated. We want y'all to comment. Y'all let us know who y'all think had the best draft. But at the end of the day, this is AI telling us. Yeah, yeah. I want to hear from the people. Mike Expert, don't you want to hear from the people? Oh, yeah, most definitely. People, I want you to, to chime in, let everybody know that Mike the Expert had the best draft. <laughs> you know? Did you? Because Mike oh, the Expert yeah. had most an F-minus draft in five quarterbacks. <laughs> He did have an F. Don't give him that F minus. Yeah, no, F minus. He had an F. He just my failed. He didn't good. royally fail. My if you good. think about it in school, there's no F minus. If you got an F. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. I've never there seen that. There is no F minus. No, there's there's no no F minus. I've never seen that. You're right. A D minus you get a, exists, but an F minus is not a yeah, Because every, everything else is a minus zero. except yeah. F. Dog, you yeah. failed, you failed. You failed. Yeah. <laughs> You can't fail harder because uh, what's really the difference between getting a, like a, a nah. 10 and getting a 50? Nah. Uh, if, I was a if you got I a 25 bet. or you got a 54, you still got it. You still got it. Exactly. <laughs> right. That just means you guessed better when you got that 54. Uh -huh. But you still failed. So, uh, right. yeah. So it is what it is. You All right, y'all. Well, that was our draft grades. We're going to yeah. come to you during the season and tell you how we did. Yes, We're going to talk about our league. You know, hopefully follow. Hopefully we give you some also some great fantasy advice you can take and use it on your team mm -hmm. and in your league. So uh, shout out to us. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we'll check y'all on the next one, the sneakers and sports, the culture. Where can they find us, Kev? At the culture one on Instagram and at the culture nine six six zero on YouTube. Like, share, subscribe. We'll catch you next one.